fry bread. This is a Native American family story. My name's Dr. Steinhaus, and I get to serve as the Secretary of Education, and part of my job is to take care of every single student in New Mexico. There are over 300,000 students. Yes, sir? I'm, I'm not from here, and one of those books the book that you have in your hand, I saw it in the library of my old school, but I wasn't able to read it. So we're going to read it today, and so part of my job is to come and read to children, and that's the most fun thing I get to do in my whole job. And so I'm really happy to be here with you today. Every, every book has an author. And what's an author? Hold up your hand and tell me who the author is, yes. An author is the person who writes the book. Okay, perfect. And then there's usually somebody else called the illustrator. Yes, way in the back. Um, the, they draw the pictures. They draw the pictures. And so the book is illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal, and the author <coughs> is Kevin Noble Mailer. And this book feels brand new, which I'm really excited about. Fry Bread, a Native American family story. Fry Bread is food, flour, salt, water, cornmeal, baking powder, perhaps milk, maybe sugar, all mixed together in a big bowl. <coughs> Fry Bread is shape, hands mold the dough, flat like a pancake, round like a ball, only puffy like Nana's softest pillow. Who's Nana? Who? Yes. Um, she's like a, like a grandma. Exactly, yeah. Usually Nana is a nickname for grandma. It's just short for the word grandma. Fry bread is sound. The skillet clangs in the stove. The fire blazes from below. Drop the dough in the skillet. The bubbles sizzle and pop. Fry bread is color. Golden brown, tan or yellow, deep like coffee, sienna or earth. Does anybody know what sienna is? Okay, so that's a word we're going to ask your teacher to look up and we'll learn a new word. Light like snow and cream, warm like rays of snow. Every, everybody knows about that. Mm -hmm. Fry bread is flavor. See beans or soup, smell tacos, cheese and vegetables, delight in honey and jam, rise to discover what brings us together. Fry bread is time. On weekends and holidays, supper or dinner, powwows or festivals, moments together with family and friends. Fry bread is art. Sculpture, landscape, and portrait, or daily craft, shared from teacher to student, a cycle of heritage and fortune. Anybody know what heritage is? That's another big word, yes. Um, I thought it was like, um, where stuff is like important to your family. Yes, that's very good. That's a, tw I call that a 25 cent word. So you just earned 25 cents because you knew the definition. Fry bread is history, the long walk, the stolen land, strangers in our own world. With unknown food, we made new recipes from what we have. Look at the faces on all the children. Fry bread is place. Alaska, Kansas, all the way to Maine, down to Delaware, on to Georgia, over to Oklahoma, Colorado, and California. Cities and lands Wait, that's we call home. State. Yes, it is. See, you were pointing to this whole thing. That looks like a picture of the United States. Yes, that's and so it's, it. It, it that's is. North it looks America. really small. It does. It's North America. It is North America. Fry bread 
his nation. Abenki, Apache, Arapaho, Awebe, Anoganda, Alaga, Sioux, Narasame, Navajo, Nipkan, Sioli, Shon, Sak, and Fox. Hundreds and hundreds of tribes. You think I pronounced all those right? Yeah. yeah. So, I think I got a C minus on that one. Yeah, I got a thumb side. Fry bread is everything round, flat, large, and small, north, east, south, and west, brown, yellow, black, white, familiar and foreign, old and new, we come together. Can you see the pictures okay? Fry bread is us. We are still the elder and young, friend and neighbor. We strengthen each other to learn, change, and survive. Look at that little baby right there. It's a fry bread. Fry bread is you.